something ticking at us here. It appears to be a black and white warbler ticking. That was an oven bird. And the other bird going on and on, that's a red-eyed vireo. Black and white warblers have stopped ticking. It'd be nice to hear them sing though. Let's see, I have a bird again. <laughs> Sitting along the trail, hiding, jumped out. That's the usual way you encounter rough grass. Always very dramatic. My name is Rob, and this is a preview of Songbirding, a new podcast that showcases birds as they sound in their natural habitats. Whether you're an aspiring or veteran birder looking to test and build upon your birdsong identification skills, or someone who appreciates the natural world, this unique limited series will venture through the breeding territories of a number of species found in North America's Great Lakes region. Here's a preview of some of the birds we will hear, starting with the black-throated blue warbler. This sounds loud enough that I should be able to see this bird. Oh, there he is. Think about the black-throated blue. Unlike the black-throated green, they're a very, very dark bird. It's actually difficult to tell that it's blue at all. It really just looks like it's black and white until you get some clear photos. The back is more of a gray blue. Uh, bright blue. It is a dark slaty grayish blue. And without amazing lighting, it doesn't photograph very well. Even with amazing lighting, it doesn't photograph very well. So I'm just Watching him straight above me, almost. Singing on a fairly large branch. Branch is thicker than he is wide. I must say we accomplished I say I accomplished my mission here, finding one of these. And hearing it sing, I think he's noticed me now. He's switched branch suddenly. He's still singing. He's not ticking though. Flying about a bit, catching bugs, picking them off leaves. It's maple trees in right now. So he has a slight, and all black little blues have this, they have a small little white spot on their wing, which is how you can identify a female. They're fairly drab, but they have a white patch on the wing, a little square, a little tiny square rectangle. No other warbler has that. Like most birders, I won't always get the identification right on the first try. 
This next bird I first misidentify as a Cape May warbler, but after a good look at it, I land upon the correct identification of a Blackburnian warbler. Okay. That really high-pitched one. That's what I'm thinking might be Cape May warbler. That right there. I want to get eyes on it then. Then get a camera on it. I think I see it. Yes. Well, I was wrong. We have a black Burnian warbler. Thing of black about black Burnian is they do have multiple songs, and that is apparently one of them. And that is a bright orange. So they have a very bright orange throat. That was an oven bird in the background, the teacher, teacher, teacher call. So you're hearing pine warbler, with the trill, red-eyed vireo, pretty much constantly. And that there is the black burning warbler. It's not all warblers though. There are a variety of other bird species covered, such as this indigo bunting. Indigo bunting singing. This is a great place for indigo bunting because a lot of edge habitat here, which is what they like. It's on the edge of some forest and some open field. I love to sit on that edge and sing. They will nest in small shrubs, especially thorny ones, raspberry bushes. Things are really dense. Keep predators out. Back to entering forest, but it's a bit of an elevar too. Lots of exposed rock. It's a red eye vireo here. This guy's especially loud. Looks like our indigo bunting's come closer. So we have both indigo bunting and red eye vireo. So our vireo is non stop as usual. And you go bunting just once in a while. Sounds like the red vireo is taking a pause. That's indigo bunting, male, very deep blue color, almost iridescent, if not iridescent. If the female's around, she'll be a dark brown, brownish gray, hard to describe other than that, a little sparrow, like Bird.
Now I've got a clear view. So you can hear there's a second indigo bunting. So that's our first one. Let's see if our second will sing. Maybe that was a one-off. Seems like just the one male wants to sing right now. Let's move towards where I heard the other one. Songbirding will be released across all major podcast networks in October of 2019. For more information, please visit songbirding.com or follow at songbirdingpod on Twitter or Instagram. This songbirding preview episode was recorded, engineered, narrated, and created by me, Rob Porter, with Creative Commons music from Scott Buckley.